into the void. Daniel Hayes was a seasoned outdoorsman, with years of camping and hiking under his belt. His latest adventure took him to a place shrouded in mystery, Eldridge. Tucked away in the remote American Midwest, Eldridge was a forgotten town, abandoned decades ago. The promise of solitude and the allure of exploring an old ghost town drew Daniel to this isolated corner of the world. The drive was long and winding, with the road narrowing and the trees closing in like sentinels keeping watch over forgotten lands. As dusk approached, the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow that quickly faded into the cold grip of twilight. The temperature dropped sharply, and the wind began to pick up, sending a chill through the air. Finally, the silhouette of Eldridge emerged through the gathering darkness. The town looked as if it had been frozen in time, its buildings standing in various states of decay. The streets were eerily silent, with not a single sound breaking the oppressive quiet. Daniel parked his SUV at the edge of town, a growing unease settling in his gut. He set up his tent in a small clearing just outside the town's limits, the silence around him almost deafening. The only sound was the crunch of gravel beneath his boots and the occasional rustle of wine through the trees. The last rays of sunlight cast long, haunting shadows across the town, making the abandoned buildings appear even more menacing. Daniel started a campfire, its crackling flames providing a stark contrast to the encroaching darkness. The firelight danced on the trees and the nearby ruins, creating a shifting landscape of shadows. As night fully descended, the temperature dropped further, and the wind howled through the desolate streets. The fire's warmth was a brief comfort, but Daniel couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. Settling into his tent, Daniel tried to push away his growing sense of discomfort. The firelight flickered through the thin fabric of the tent, casting eerie patterns on the walls. He tried to focus on the rhythmic crackle of the fire, hoping it would lull him to sleep. But the silence outside was too profound, too complete. Every small noise seemed amplified in the stillness, making his heart race with every creak and rustle. As the hours passed, the wind grew stronger, carrying with it faint, almost imperceptible whispers. At first, Daniel thought it was just the wind through the trees, but the whispers grew clearer, more distinct. They sounded like voices, murmuring in a language he couldn't understand. The hairs on the back of his neck stood up, and a cold sweat broke out across his brow. Unable to ignore the growing unease, Daniel grabbed his flashlight and stepped outside. The fog had rolled in, thick and dense, swirling around the town like a living entity. The firelight barely penetrated the fog, casting only weak, flickering beams. The whispers seemed to surround him, their source obscured by the fog. Shadows moved just beyond the edge of his vision, elusive and unsettling. With a growing sense of dread, Daniel ventured into the fog, his flashlight beam cutting narrow paths through the thick, swirling mist. The fog seemed to close in around him, muffling sound and distorting his sense of direction. The buildings appeared as dark, distorted shapes, their broken windows reflecting the scant light. He approached an old diner with a flickering neon sign, its glow barely piercing the fog. The door creaked open with a ghostly wail, and Daniel hesitated before stepping inside. The interior was a relic from another era, with dusty booths and a counter cluttered with old newspapers and faded menus. A chill ran down his spine as he noticed a newspaper on the counter with the headline, Eldridge's Final Days, A Town's Mysterious Decline. The article detailed a series of strange events and disappearances, but the information was fragmented and incomplete. The last entry mentioned a curse placed on the town, a malevolent force that fed on fear and despair. Daniel's heart raced as he read the chilling words. The whispers outside grew louder, almost frantic, as if reacting to his discovery. Terrified, Daniel stumbled out of the diner, the fog now thick and suffocating. The whispers were louder than ever, turning into a cacophony of disembodied voices. Shadows darted in and out of his flashlight's beam, and the oppressive darkness seemed to press in on him. Panic surged through him, making his breaths come in ragged gasps. He raced back to his tent, but sleep was impossible. The whispers grew more frantic, and the darkness outside felt alive, as though it were watching him. The oppressive silence was broken only by the cacophony of voices, growing louder and more insistent. Daniel could feel the darkness closing in, the sense of dread almost palpable. 
As he lay awake, trying to steady his racing heart, he felt a profound sense of foreboding. The town of Eldridge, with its eerie silence and haunting whispers, had awakened a deep-seated fear within him. He realized that Eldridge was not just a deserted town but a place where something dark and malevolent lurked, waiting for the next unwitting visitor to disturb its restless slumber. The Haunting of Eldridge Daniel Hayes had always been drawn to the wilderness. From rugged mountain trails to serene lakesides, the natural world had been his sanctuary. When he stumbled upon a faded travel guide advertising Eldridge, a remote, abandoned town in the heart of the American Midwest, he was captivated. The allure of exploring an untouched ghost town, where time had seemingly stood still, was irresistible. The journey to Eldridge was as solitary as it was foreboding. The highway had given way to a series of narrow, winding roads, flanked by dense forests that seemed to close in on him. The sky above was an ever-deepening canvas of twilight hues, purples and blues melding into an unsettling gradient. Daniel's GPS had lost signal hours ago, and the absence of modern technology only amplified his isolation. The further he drove, the more the landscape transformed. The vibrant colors of sunset were swallowed by the encroaching darkness, replaced by an oppressive gray that seemed to seep into the very air. The trees, their skeletal branches stretching towards the road, seemed to whisper secrets from a bygone era. Every turn seemed to lead deeper into an unsettling unknown. Finally, the trees parted to reveal Eldritch. The sight was both fascinating and disturbing. The town was a frozen tableau of decay, buildings stood in various states of disrepair, their facades crumbling, windows shattered or obscured by grime. The streets, once lively with human activity, were now choked with overgrown weeds and debris. The stillness was profound, almost suffocating. Even the breeze seemed reluctant to stir the air. Daniel parked his SUV at the town's edge, the eerie quiet pressing in around him. He could almost hear the silence, a weighty presence that seemed to settle over the abandoned structures. With a sense of mounting apprehension, he gathered his camping gear and made his way to a small clearing just outside the town. The ground was uneven, the grass long and wild, but he managed to set up his tent with practiced efficiency. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the last remnants of light cast long, distorted shadows across the town. The fire pit, which he had prepared with kindling and logs, crackled to life with a comforting warmth. The fire's glow was a welcome contrast to the encroaching darkness, though it did little to dispel the unsettling atmosphere. The shadows cast by the flames danced ominously on the nearby trees and buildings, creating an ever-shifting landscape of silhouettes. As the night deepened, the temperature plummeted. The warmth of the fire seemed increasingly inadequate against the cold that settled in. Daniel retreated to his tent, hoping that the shelter of his sleeping bag would offer some respite. However, as he lay on the hard ground, sleep eluded him. The silence outside was too profound, a heavy, oppressive quiet that seemed to press against his very thoughts. Every small sound, a twig snapping, a distant rustle, was magnified in the stillness, making his heart race. The once comforting crackle of the fire now seemed like a distant, insignificant murmur against the backdrop of the town's eerie silence. Daniel's mind raced with thoughts of what might lie hidden in the shadows, or what might have driven the town's inhabitants to disappear. The fog began to roll in, thick and dense, gradually swallowing the fire's light. The temperature continued to drop, and a chill seeped into the tent. Daniel could feel his breath misting in the cold air, and the creeping dread he felt was almost palpable. The fog transformed the familiar landscape into a nightmarish labyrinth, with the town's outline becoming increasingly obscured. He tried to focus on the warmth of his sleeping bag and the rhythmic crackle of the dying fire, but his attempts were futile. The oppressive silence was occasionally broken by distant, almost imperceptible whispers. At first, Daniel dismissed them as figments of his imagination, born from the cold and isolation. But the whispers grew more distinct, taking on a disquieting clarity. They were voices, murmuring, indistinct, and disembodied, coming from somewhere just beyond the edge of the fog. His unease escalated into genuine fear. The whispers grew louder, more insistent, and Daniel felt as though he was being drawn towards them by some unseen force. He fumbled for his flashlight and ventured outside, the cold air biting at his skin. 
The fog had thickened, enveloping the entire area in a ghostly veil. The fire's weak glow was barely visible through the dense mist, and the town's silhouette was obscured, its details hidden by the creeping darkness. The whispers seemed to come from all directions, echoing off the fog in a haunting chorus. Shadows moved at the periphery of his vision, darting in and out of sight, further fueling his mounting panic. The fog, now a suffocating shroud, seemed to press in on him, making it difficult to breathe. His flashlight beam cut through the mist in narrow, ineffective slices, revealing only the distorted shapes of the town's buildings. Desperate for some semblance of normalcy, Daniel stumbled towards the old diner he had spotted earlier. The flickering neon sign, now barely visible through the fog, cast a faint, eerie glow. The door creaked open with a ghostly moan, and Daniel hesitated before stepping inside. The interior was a snapshot of a bygone era, dusty booths, a counter cluttered with old newspapers, and a faded jukebox that stood silent. He approached the counter, where a newspaper lay amidst the clutter. The headline read, Eldridge's Final Days, A Town's Mysterious Decline. The article detailed a series of strange occurrences and unexplained disappearances that had plagued the town before its abandonment. The final paragraphs spoke of a curse, a malevolent force that thrived on fear and despair, driving the townspeople to madness before they vanished without a trace. As Daniel read the article, the whispers outside grew louder, their tones shifting from distant murmurs to frantic cries. The sense of dread intensified, and he felt an overwhelming pressure as though the fog itself was closing in on him. The shadows in the diner seemed to elongate and writhe, twisting into grotesque shapes that seemed to reach for him. The overwhelming fear drove him out of the diner and back to his campsite. The fog had grown thicker, and the whispers had become a relentless cacophony of voices, their pleas and cries echoing in the dense mist. Daniel's breaths came in ragged gasps as he fumbled to pack up his gear, his hands shaking uncontrollably. In a final, desperate attempt to escape, he scrambled into his SUV and started the engine. The roar of the engine was a brief comfort amidst the rising terror. He threw the vehicle into gear and sped down the fog-shrouded road, the headlights slicing through the mist. The whispers faded into the background, but the sense of impending doom clung to him. As he drove away from Eldridge, the fog began to lift, and the familiar lights of the highway appeared. Daniel felt a profound sense of relief, though the fear and unease of the night would linger long after he left. The haunting silence, the eerie whispers, and the malevolent presence of Eldridge had left an indelible mark on his soul, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lay hidden in the forgotten corners of the world. Feel free to adjust or expand any parts to fit your narrative needs. This extended version aims to build a deep sense of dread and isolation, enhancing the overall dramatic effect. Shadows in Eldritch Daniel Hayes had always been an adventurer at heart. His passion for camping and exploring remote areas was driven by a deep-seated love for the unknown. When he read about Eldridge, a town lost in time and abandoned to the ravages of nature, he knew it was a destination he couldn't miss. The allure of stepping into a forgotten place, where the echoes of the past might still linger, was irresistible. The drive to Eldridge began under a sky streaked with the colors of twilight. The journey was long, stretching over winding roads that seemed to twist endlessly through the dense forest. The trees, tall and gnarled, loomed on either side, their branches creating a tangled canopy that filtered the fading sunlight into eerie patterns on the pavement. Daniel's SUV roared steadily along the gravel road, its headlights piercing through the growing gloom. As he drove deeper into the heart of the wilderness, the modern world began to fall away. The radio crackled with static, and his phone's signal disappeared entirely. The isolation was absolute, each mile stripping away the comforts of civilization. The road, once smooth and well-traveled, turned rough and uneven, littered with potholes and overgrown with weeds. The forest seemed to press closer, its shadows growing darker and more oppressive. The sun dipped below the horizon, leaving a dusky, somber light that barely illuminated the road ahead. Daniel's sense of excitement was tempered by a growing unease. The trees on either side of the road formed a dark tunnel, the branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. The atmosphere was thick with anticipation, each twist in the road a step closer to the unknown. Finally, the trees parted to reveal Eldridge, a ghostly silhouette against the darkening sky. 
The town appeared almost frozen in time, its buildings standing in various states of disrepair. Roofs sagged under the weight of years of neglect, and windows were either shattered or obscured by grime. The streets were overgrown with weeds and littered with debris, the remnants of a once thriving community now lying in decay. Daniel parked his SUV at the edge of town, the engine's rumble fading into the profound silence that enveloped Eldridge. The quiet was absolute, an eerie calm that seemed to press against him. He unloaded his camping gear, his movements methodical but quick, as if trying to avoid disturbing the heavy atmosphere. The air was cool, with a crispness that hinted at the approaching night. Daniel found a small clearing just outside the town limits, a relatively flat area that would serve as his campsite. The clearing was surrounded by tall grass that swayed gently in the breeze, and the trees at the edge seemed to form a natural barrier, further isolating the area. He began setting up his tent, the sound of fabric rustling and pegs being driven into the ground the only noise in the oppressive stillness. As he worked, the sky darkened, transitioning from twilight to a deep, inky blackness. The first stars began to appear, their faint light swallowed quickly by the encroaching darkness. Daniel built a small fire in the center of the clearing, hoping the warmth and light would provide some comfort. The fire crackled to life, its flames dancing and casting long, flickering shadows across the grass. The town loomed in the distance, its outlines blurred and indistinct in the fading light. The firelight created a stark contrast to the darkness surrounding it, but even the warm glow seemed insufficient to dispel the growing sense of unease. The buildings of Eldridge stood like silent sentinels, their broken windows reflecting the flickering flames in a ghostly manner. As night fell, the temperature dropped rapidly. The fire provided some warmth, but the chill in the air was pervasive. Daniel wrapped himself in a blanket and settled into his camping chair, trying to enjoy the comfort of the fire. However, the silence was thick and unyielding, a heavy blanket that seemed to press in from all sides. The occasional gust of wind rustling the tall grass was the only disruption to the otherwise stifling quiet. Daniel's attempts to relax were thwarted by the unsettling ambience of the town. The firelight cast shifting shadows that seemed to take on strange, almost malevolent forms. The darkness beyond the firelight was impenetrable, and the occasional sound, a distant creak, the rustle of leaves, was amplified in the quiet. The feeling of being watched, of unseen eyes observing his every move, grew stronger as the night progressed. The fog began to roll in, a thick, dense mist that seemed to rise from the ground and envelop the town in a ghostly shroud. The fog's arrival was gradual, a creeping presence that swallowed the edges of the clearing and began to obscure the light from the fire. The temperature dropped further, and the fog seemed to carry an otherworldly chill. It clung to Daniel's skin, making the night feel even colder and more oppressive. The once comforting crackle of the fire now seemed muted by the fog. The shadows it cast grew longer and more distorted, creating eerie shapes that twisted and writhed in the mist. The fog thickened until it was difficult to see more than a few feet in any direction. The town, once visible in the distance, was now obscured by the dense mist, its details lost in the swirling whiteness. Daniel's sense of isolation deepened. The fog seemed to muffle all sounds, creating a suffocating silence that pressed in from all sides. The only noise was the occasional snap of a twig or the distant hoot of an owl, both of which seemed to come from somewhere beyond the fog. The overwhelming quiet was disconcerting, a constant reminder of the town's abandonment and the isolation of his campsite. Unable to shake the growing sense of unease, Daniel decided to take a walk through the fog. He grabbed his flashlight, the beam cutting weakly through the dense mist. The fog seemed to absorb the light, rendering the beam ineffective. As he walked, the shadows in the fog appeared to move and shift, creating strange and unsettling shapes. The fog pressed in around him, making it difficult to see more than a few feet ahead. Every sound was amplified, and the occasional whisper of the wind through the trees seemed to carry an unsettling undertone. The darkness was all-encompassing, and the feeling of being watched grew stronger with each step. Daniel's flashlight beam finally revealed the ghostly outline of an old diner, its neon sign flickering weakly through the fog. The sight was both eerie and intriguing, and he approached the building with a mixture of curiosity and trepidation. The door creaked open with a mournful groan, and Daniel stepped inside, the darkness inside even more oppressive than the fog outside. 
The interior of the diner was a time capsule from another era. Dust-covered booths lined the walls, and the counter was cluttered with old newspapers and broken dishes. A faded jukebox stood silent in the corner, its once vibrant colors are now muted and worn. The air inside was thick with the smell of decay and neglect, and the silence was almost palpable. Daniel approached the counter, where a stack of old newspapers lay amidst the clutter. The headlines were yellowed and brittle, speaking of a town in decline. One article, in particular, caught his eye, The Curse of Eldridge, A Town's Dark Secret. The article detailed a series of strange occurrences and disappearances that had plagued the town before its abandonment. As Daniel read the article, a chill ran down his spine. The account described a malevolent presence that had driven the townspeople to madness before they vanished without a trace. The whispers that had been echoing through the fog seemed to respond to his reading, growing louder and more insistent. The fog outside seemed to thicken further, and the whispers grew louder, their tones shifting from distant murmurs to frantic cries. Daniel's sense of dread intensified, and he felt a growing pressure as though the fog itself was closing in on him. The shadows in the diner appeared to elongate and writhe, twisting into grotesque forms that seemed to reach for him. Desperate to escape the oppressive atmosphere, Daniel fled the diner and returned to his campsite. The fog had completely enveloped the area, making it impossible to see the fire's light. The whispers outside continued their relentless assault, filling the air with a palpable sense of menace. Daniel fumbled with his gear, his hands shaking uncontrollably as he packed up. He rushed back to his SUV, the engine's roar providing a brief sense of relief amidst the rising terror. As he drove away from Eldridge, the fog began to lift, and the familiar lights of the highway appeared. Daniel felt a profound sense of relief, but the fear and unease of the night would linger long after he left. The haunting silence, the eerie whispers, and the malevolent presence of Eldridge had left an indelible mark on him. The memory of the town's darkness would forever remain, a chilling reminder of the horrors that lay hidden in the forgotten corners of the world.